how my brother Leon brought home a wife. Leon and his wife Maria are about to return to Leon's village after getting married. Baldo met his older brother and his wife Maria at the edge of Nagrebcon, La Union. Caseline drove them with a the calesa from the terminal. As Baldo saw his manong's wife, he described her as tall, lovely, and beautiful. In her reflected a woman who, though described as civilized, still shows the values atypical of a maiden in ancient times. You are Baldo? And this must be Labong, of whom I've heard so much. Yes, you may scratch his forehead now. Maria hesitantly touched Labong's head and scratched it neatly. While Leon faced Caseline, Baldo is captured by the beauty of Maria. Baldo heard his brother Leon called Maria by her name. Maria! For Baldo, the name Maria will also be how they will call her. Not Maring, not Mayang, but Baldo was quite confused when she heard Maria answered Leon by the name. Yes, Noel? He thought that their father would not like it, but for him, the name Noel sounds better. Baldo also saw how the two are deeply in love. Meanwhile, Labang made a loud sound that made Maria amazed. Ooh. Then Maria asked, Why does he make that sound? There is no other like it. It's the only bull who does make that sound. If you continue to talk to him like that, either I shall fall in love with him, or become greatly jealous. Upon their journey to their home, Leon is wondering why Baldo brought them to the Wa'i instead of the Camina Real. It was Father, Manal. He told me to drive at Wa'i, instead of the plain Camino Real. The Wa'i route served as test to Maria if she can live with a province, which differs a lot from a city where she lived in. But then, it seems like Maria likes Leon's province. She described this as beautiful, fresh air, clean, and free of dust. Baldo even described the beauty that they saw while traversing the Waik. He mentioned how the Katayaghan Hill formed a silhouette while the sun sets. The crickets chirp, how the Dangla and Arais roots smell. Look, there's our stars, Noel. I have been looking at it. Do you remember how I would tell you that when you want to see stars, you must come to Negrobkin? Yes, Noel. Look at it. It is so many times bigger and brighter than it was at Ermita Beach. It was already dark, and Baldo lighted the lamp. They saw the Andedais and Arais along the Wa'i, and then... <laughs> How far to go yet, Noel? Soon, we will get out of the way and pass into the fields. After the fields is home, Mene, 
Noel, do you think he will like me? Does that still worry you, Maria? Father is the gentlest man I know. While continuing their journey, Maria was worried if Leon's father and family would like her. And they arrived home. Leon immediately asked his mother, Where is Tanong, Nanong? He is in his room upstairs. His leg is bothering him again. Father was in his room smoking his tobacco in the window. He talked to Baldo asking what happened during their travel. Did you meet anybody on the way? No father. No one passes at the way at night. She is very beautiful father. Was she afraid of Lebang? No father. She was not afraid. He looked at the star's father and Manong Leon sang. What did he sing? Sky song with stars. Father. Father was silent again. Baldo could hear the low voices of mother and his sister Aurelia downstairs. While Baldo and father were in the dark and smoky room, Leon and Maria entered, so father suddenly changed the topic and told him to let Labang drink water. 